Yo, 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 your boy is back. I did not die, no, although it was cold and I almost did. But anyways, I'm going to kind of fill you in on what's been going on with me and maybe answer the question in the title. Okay, okay, so some of you guys are going to call me out and be like, yo, you said you're going to do things weekly and drop videos weekly. And yes, I did do that for the first few months and then reality hit. Client work. As wedding season ended, I entered into something I like to call editing season. And so that's when you go through your hard drives and you get all the ways that you've been storing up for the summer kind of like an animal storing up for winter and then you edit for the rest of your life so yeah client work was piling up and i had to make a decision honestly the vlog was secondary to client work like the vlog is not paying any money and you know and the client work is and i had to just choose to prioritize that I think there's a differentiation between a YouTuber and just someone who's just putting up vlogs regularly. And for me, at one point, I thought they were the same. And I was like, okay, I have to do every week. I have to do all this optimization. And you know, I kind of felt trapped and I'm like, I needed to do it this way. And I realized, no, like, that's not what I set out to do. I did not set out to be a YouTuber. I just set out to document my journey and share what I was learning. And sometimes in that journey, you get too busy to share. So that's what I did. I had to stop and just be okay with that and not beat myself up and say, oh no, this will never mean anything. Just client work pays the bills. So I have to prioritize that. Plus, you know, when you do something like that, like you bring in a vlog and you have to create content every week, it's, it's, it's basically another job. And so I realized, yeah, I need to get help if I want to keep things rolling consistently. So if y'all know anybody who has Final Cut and wants to be mentored and make a little money on the side, let me know because, yeah, I need some help with the editing. I also had a loss in my family recently and, and so that was that was rough just dealing with that and being with family and you know it's been a while since something like that has happened and so I realized how much it it disrupts your schedule but then you start to realize oh yeah but family is more important and you kind of have to just stop what you're doing and and yeah when you start back you have to start back with the more important things like again client work. And of course, at some point nestled in that client work and in, and in that family time, there was something called a creative block. Some of you may be familiar with this. Um, for you perfect people who don't have creative blocks, great. Give me a call. Let me know how you, how you survive. But for the regular people like us, sometimes you wake up and you're like, I don't know what to do. Or I don't know what to write. I don't know what to to film and on the photograph and so creative blocks can happen and dealing with them comes with a certain level of self-awareness like self-awareness self self-awareness right and so ask yourself these questions D disclaimer i am not a psychologist or a professional in any way with mental things um, this is just my personal experiences that I'm sharing that have worked for some people and that may be common. So take it as it is. So the first thing I ask myself is why? Why do I feel this mental block? That's a good question, right? Uh, sometimes you want to just jump straight into the solutions of like how to fix it. But it's important to just ask yourself, why do I feel this way? And so five reasons for me. Um, why I might have a creative block sometimes and you know this, this might some people might share these some people may not um, are the following so social media stuck in a routine being burnt out being fearful and being lazy so let's unpack these things I love social media it's a great way to connect with people learn new things and uh, get inspired and inspire others but the dark side is that of course some people have the propensity you know for things like going into really dark places when they go or you know comparisons or just getting really bad ideas and so 
um, as a creative, sometimes, you know, I can go through social media and compare myself. I think I may have mentioned that in previous vlogs, right? Just comparing yourself and looking at other people's things and you're like, oh, I, oh, I'm not like that. So I'm not good. And so sometimes when you see that, you're like, why bother? And then you kind of get into this block and you want things to look like this person's channel, or this person's Instagram. And so that's a big thing. And so for me, I, I, I pull myself back and I, and I remind myself, listen, everybody's just putting out their best selves. They're not showing all the background work and pain that's going into it. And at the end of the day, it's just media. Sometimes I get stuck in a routine, like in editing season. Editing season, my day looks like this. I wake up, I take the girls to school, come back home, and I edit. Pick them up from school, do a little housework, and, and that's it, like I edit, I edit a lot. Of course, no, okay, that's, that's a little bit oversimplified. I stay, you know, I do some emails and you know, blah, 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 but it's a very monotonous schedule. And so I can kind of get stuck in a rut. And, and if I'm not careful, even some of the films might start to look the same in terms of structure. And so um, break your routine up, go somewhere new, uh, collab with someone else who has you know, different ideas that you can share with that really helps me. Another one is just being burnt out. Burnt out, like you're just doing a lot, you're doing too much, you have high stress, low rest. Honestly, stop. I did a vlog like this in August when I talked about getting rest. It still applies and I still need to watch that and remind myself of that. Is Getting rest is so important. You... We underestimate how much fatigue can really mess with our heads and, and make us perceive things differently. The next point is being fearful. And when I say fearful, I'm talking about fearful in terms of being a creative, um, like just not wanting to put stuff out there. Oh no, people are not gonna like it. People are gonna think it's ugly, uh, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, like just put your stuff out there and be proud somebody will like it and there's this cool expression i heard it's um your vibe attracts your tribe honestly whoever is attracted to your work will follow you and it's not always about your work sometimes it's about your personality and the connections that people make with you because everybody has a different opinion you can you can do two stellar pieces of work and some people like this one some people like that one. but at the end of the day put out what you like what resonates with you and the people who like it will come towards it. I don't know what to tell you, just do it. Yeah, just do it. Like get off your butt and do it. Um, accountability helps. Uh, having somebody else who knows what you're going to do and having them kind of reach out to you and find out if you're doing it helps. Uh, collabing helps too because it, it kind of has some accountability built in because you're working with somebody else to get this project done. So you're, you're you know, you're trying to make sure that this person is not angry at you for not doing your part. Um, but seriously, just tell yourself it's easy, it's simple, it's fun. And while you're doing it, I learned that from Kern Ray. And the five second rule, if you guys haven't um, uh, heard of Mel Robbins, really good concept. I'm not going to spoil it. Check her out. Uh, the five second rule count, count backwards five, four, three, two, one. Do what you need to do. Physical response while you're counting. You'll do it. You just need to just put your head and do it. Sometimes you just need to take up that camera, take up that pencil, open the program, and just force yourself to do it parent yourself and don't be a child about it do what you need to do and it will get easier over time to create that creativity i think is a skill it's not this thing that people are born with like you you learn to be creative over time and sometimes we kind of get caught up in like our situation like oh i don't have this so i can't or i don't have that or i need that but that's where creative that's where creativity thrives because Creativity, creativity, creativity thrives when you don't have something and you have to improvise or work around it. And so anyways, 
that is my little sharing today thank you guys for tuning in and just listening to what i have to say i know it's been a while but i'm gonna start getting those vlogs up again i'm, I'm almost done all my wedding films for the year and I just have a few more smaller projects that will not be as crazy so i'm hoping to get the vlogs the vlogs out again i've been recording a lot of cool stuff so can't wait to share that with you guys anyways like subscribe for more of this and i will see you soon bye